I think Christy only has three on her account, so I might need to send her a, f an a, a fourth. Um, seems okay. Like, not super exciting, but it's fine. This can hopefully fate weave us into a sapphire. I could play Sentry on one here. Yeah, I'm actually going to play Sentry on one because if I rip a non-slow shard next turn, I could go MC plus Trap Keeper then. I'm not going to play this Forge Fist out because, like, just playing a 2-1 is kind of anemic. I want to hold this in the event um, that I can trigger Animus with it, potentially. That's That's decent. I think I need to put a shard on top here still. Put a resource on top. Maybe I'm not supposed to put a shard on top at this point. Yep. That's such a fucking tilt. I'm putting a short on top now. It'll let me have my banner next turn. The banner really doesn't do much, I guess, right? Yeah, like, I'm going to play a few games with Haraza here, but I like, just looking at it in this first game, like, is this even supposed to be the champion in this deck anymore? Is this, like, even what we're interested in, like, having our lives be? I'm going to get another ruby and just hate myself. All right, well, we got that at least. Yes, I'm gonna do this and smash them. I don't know the answer to that question. Yeah, the blaze elemental one. The blaze elemental one might be really good. All of our top decks are better at this point. Uh, Blood Diamond Sockets has been a deck for a while. It's a different deck than this. That's really unfortunate for us. Yeah, like, and like, that's the, the difference between this, like, killing them and not, right? Like, they literally would have been dead this turn if we'd have had... Plus three power last turn and like plus four power this turn. Swamp butt obs, right? That's unfortunate for us. I think we might just be dead here. It's a combination of being, yeah, super fucking dead. All right. Uh, huh. That that didn't feel very good, chat. Oh, I've got four return to cinders in my board. Yeah, buddy. Welcome to Thunderdome. Just get those. Slide those right on into my deck here. Void your death cry troop. Noise, noise. So I did Dell 
plus six damage that game with the other champion. It's also possible that maybe I should have just played the Forge Fist out to start and like nug them a couple extra times with that. Ugh. Very, very possible that that was a thing that should have happened that game. Holding it for Animus when I was fate weaving resources a little bit loose. Seems like not exciting, but it's fine, right? I mean, Warp Steel is a lot worse in this deck too now. It's not, not plus two power off the banner. And it'll have an impact on this game at least. We're gonna get to go quench into Heartsworn into Warp Steel the following turn, plus banner. Yeah, potentially, Burgle. Maybe the those those configurations of sockets are just better. Like the big the big draw to this is is no longer here. Can't even attack into this profitably. We're gonna give this two matches, but this feels pretty terrible. It's like they're at 17. God, I am so off this. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna offer up one more for the sake of my ladder ranking, but this does not look pretty. Yeah, BDP, that's true. Like, we haven't drawn our, our two most powerful cards, but, like, the deck was able to... Like, those games, I would have been winning with the old banner, right? Yeah, so, like, the Go Wide Clan's just not as good. Like, Warp Steel Shards Warren just, like, is an awful card. Like, I think at the very least, if this Ruby Sapphire configuration is still good, it probably needs some restructuring, because, like, Warp Steel Shards Warren is not a good hex card in this deck anymore, it doesn't seem like. Like, it was good because it gave you multiple bodies for the banner. All right, there's an altar on two. If we can power through. Good pickup.
Art and Momentum's okay against the blood base control, but it's pretty bad against Sapphire Diamond. But I guess Sapphire Diamond's mostly fallen off the map. Deck hasn't had results for a while. Okay, sure. Okay, right, it's a good hit. That yeah, we're drawing some of the good cards, chat. Some of them there are good cards. So if we get a Ruby Shard next turn, we can banner. Not that that'll do anything. Yeah, I think... I think if you're going to continue playing Ruby Sapphire Sockets, I would explore not playing four... Uh, not playing four copies of Warp Steel Shards run, and I would explore different champions. I think the Blaze, the Blaze Elementals seems good. Oh, I do have two Ruby. You're right. I feel like they could have, like, I guess the banners could kind of do something, right? No, no, I'm, I'm wrong. I don't have enough charges for it. Oh, wait, this gives me enough, more than enough charges, right? This is my blazing banner. My blazing banner is amazing. But like, would Blaze Elementals have been that much worse there? I wonder if in addition to pulling a point of power off the banner, if they were supposed to make it cheaper, like make it, make it cost only, make it cost only like six charges to do since it's weaker. Six costs will let you like quench on three and then attack that turn. We'll see, and time could tell. It, it might, honestly, it might just be that they need to restructure these decks into a different way. Haraza might still be fine, but I think it definitely makes Warp Steel Shards for a little bit better. Like expecting all of these pieces to still fit together in the same way with Haraza being different is probably, probably silly. This hand just doesn't do anything, right? It's got like none of our good cards. And has a bunch of our good cards, God bless. Haraza won't be rotating for a while, right? Was she a set six champion or was she set seven? No, she might be out next rotation, actually. You might be right. Hero fall? Okay. I should know that. I played limited then. Tiend really wants to draw a century of Nolzan. Well, I think some of them too, Ang Angmar, is that like, I wouldn't be surprised if we see them bring back champions at some point for like a limited, for like, 
uh, perspective of like having them playable for limited. And I wouldn't be too surprised if they, uh, not only for limited, but also if they like do flashback drafts or something. Anime, Sentry, Sentry, Sentry. Nope. Maybe, I mean like, Immortal needs room to breathe. Like we're still, Immortal's still really developing. So like saying that like Immortal needs help right now is just like really disingenuous. So we don't know what it needs. Honestly, what Immortal needs more than anything is just like more ways to play it on demand. So there's more data. Cause like we genuinely don't know like, the hideous conversion was just like, that was a fine ban just because it was like this obnoxious combo, but like, in general, I probably don't have a ton of data about it. Oh god. I should've just saber toothed this thing. Should've just saber toothed this thing. We're gonna die because I didn't saber tooth this earlier. That's bitch ass crush. Six, so I'm going. So I don't technically need to chump block this yet next turn. So I'm gonna play this and then hope to hit another thing next turn. Like if we rip like a quench, we could potentially kill them next turn, right? So I'm just gonna like hope that I don't need to chump block this turn and then a good rip next turn lets me kill them. And we're dead. Yeah, Runebind would have been great. I wonder if these saber tooths are worse than probably these return to cinder just because I can kill things during their ready step. It doesn't seem terrible. Like if I'd had a return to cinder there, we'd just been like, all right, ready step, kill your thing. Move on with our lives. I'm gonna keep this altar into animus on the play. Rune bind to reset when they get going, so hopefully we have time to build up our animus. I don't think I'm going to play the second altar out before I play troops, but I definitely want to get the first one down. So we'll go shard, animus next turn, and then hopefully in our two, three draw steps that we're going to get, we can go altar sec hearthstone caller on the next one. No turn two play is just insane for us. Means we're not going to try to race us this game. Century is an insane draw. There's a Quenchy. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah, the, the Kismet, in addition to like shaking up limited and getting some variety that way, the point of the Kismet drafts is also to kind of stimulate the market and like introduce cheaper staples to the format that people need to play. Like the constantly reprinting of wells is something we definitely need. Uh, I'm just going to draw some cards here, try to hit my shard drop. So I'll play this altar. Okay, so they, they just haven't done anything. We're just going to bury them this game. I don't know what they kept. Remember, it's not that you had to mulligan, it's that you get to mulligan. Don't don't keep bad hands, chat. Next turn we get to go Sentry, Animus, Quench, Kill You. You wanna sit by me? Just finally played a card on turn four and it doesn't impact the board. 
managed to remember four months in a row this time. Fizzy Dragon, thanks for re upping, bud. Oh, jeez. Oh, lordy. You super dead, opponent. Next time, think about mulliganing. Next time, think about mulliganing. I mean, our banner killed them this game. These are my troops. My troops are amazing. Actually, I didn't even need the banner, right? They were just dead to like these two being nine nines. Ow, don't grab my ear. I don't know what you're saying. Can I get that in English? Ow. Hi. Should we play one more with this? I feel like I need to play one more to get a feel for if this banner champion's actually bad now. I feel like I want to I want to play one more. We want a match, so we're not going to tank our rank too much. You want chat cheese? You haven't eaten cheese the last two times I've given it to you. You've thrown it on the floor. I'm calling you out in front of chat. Yeah, Scrub Stop 8 sealed all the time. Scrub Stop 8 constructed. Without variance by design goes. Okay, here are your snack choices. You have goldfish, cereal, or peanut butter pretzels. Pick one. These are your choices. Dealer's choice. You want the pretzels? Okay, can you get a bowl? See the bowl? Go get the bowl. Good job. Good listening, Declan. There you go. The more cherry, the more. Uh, yeah, this thing's actually decent, right? It's got a fate weave to guarantee our second shard. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna play this out. This might be a little greedy, but I think it sets us up for a slightly better like medium to long game. I don't know how aggressive their draw is gonna be, but on the play, I think I can afford to play this altar in two. We're probably actually gonna board some altars out in this matchup because in general, you can't afford the flood on them. Oh, you know what? This was actually the wrong one to play. I should have played Quenchinator because it has Gladiator, which means it would have been able to block this and eat it profitably. Okay, quenches Dees. Go ahead and hit this and draw a card. Animus is a great draw. Um, we hit the Ruby too. Yeah, I'm just going to play this out and smash them this turn. I'm going to put non-resource on top of my deck here. Beep, 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 hop in my Jeep and run you over. Rum, rum. 
wonder if they have the blaze of glory to deal three gain three here be a little annoying they could like eat one trade with one of my guys and then kill another but it's not the end of the world we're still gonna still stay at 23 and i'll lose two guys then i get the animus follow-up next turn What did they keep? They just didn't have a play. Okay, that makes sense. Like they didn't have a play on non-slow shard, non-slow shard, non-slow shard. Till oh, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah. Just do me dirty. Just do me dirty. Don't do me wrong. Don't do me wrong. Yeah, I Haraza seems fine still. I think my, my knee-jerk reaction to Haraza being bad was wrong. And, but I do think that we need to reassess the threat base that we're playing a little bit. I think we need to reassess the threat base that we're playing a little bit. I think I think Warp Steel probably goes down to a fun of. Like maybe just Trapper Keeper is better. Maybe that might not be it. Maybe maybe we just want to go like a little bit bigger up the chain, like to get rewarded for having the speed banner a little bit. Maybe we want to go back to some fours and fives. Unanswered anim is still good. Yep. Oh, I hope they're having an internet connection issue and this isn't assault DC. I actually have a buzz tech in this list still, but like more more bombs like that could be good. This feels like a salt, but like it's game one, right? Why would you why would you salt DC in game one? I don't I don't understand. Like I, I guess I guess my draw was really good. Opponent just said, I think the game locked up after I conceded. All right, I'm going to restart real quick here. You can see my, my balding head and large, large view here. Any Kismet drafts planned today? I was planning to do one this morning, but they're not going to be live before I'm done. Hey, no, no, no. All right. Weird. Um, stop shrieking. I want to cut an altar, a couple of altars, and bring in a couple of return to cinders here on the draw. I split Runebind 3 3 with it, too. Those pretzels are empty. Yep. I need to tell mom to get more pretzel chips. Oh. 
Bye-bye. Mommy went bye-bye, yep. She's at work. I want this. I want pants. I want pants. They're empty, dude, yep. Uh, Kismet drafts are like a, a modern master's type format. This hand's very good. Good clean curve here. Sentry on one, altar on two. Actually get to Animus on three without even drawing a shard. Declan Scott, stop being a turd. I love you, turd burglar. Who's a turd burglar? Let go of my cord. Turd burglar. The whole internet is watching you be a turd burglar right now. You want to wear the headset? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, turd burglar. You want to wear the headset? Hey, gamer toddler. Who's in charge here? Are you in charge? Yeah, those could possibly be good choices for bigger threats. No play on one or two is insane for us. Seems like a bad keep on their part. Who's my favorite turd burglar? Who's my favorite turd burglar? Why aren't we? You want music in the headphones? Do you hear the music? So, I think I need to kill Scion here, right? I'm going to go ahead and play... I'm going to play Quench, actually. I want to guarantee a trigger with this Animus. I don't want them to kill it before I get to do anything with it. So I'm going to go Quench, kill this, and the next turn we can go Animus Warp Steel. Or if we had a shard, we can go Animus Jingle Jing Switch. You like the music? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow, dads. All right, do I want, I don't think I actually want to smash now that they played the Arden Crusader, so I'm just gonna go Warp Steel, Warp Steel here. I'm just not gonna banner yet because I'm not attacking this turn. I'll just go ahead and pass hey. here. Okay, we don't even really care about this one, right? Make sure you can shoot something for three, but like my, my animus is huge. Okay, you get to kill my accelerant. That's a good line. Please attack me, please attack me, please attack me. Tilt. Jingle jing switch, trigger. They dead. I double return to Cinder here. They block here. They take six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh yeah, they they should be. Math is for blockers, so like we're gonna let them figure it out. But like, pretty sure they're dead. This also like these guys get bigger every time I play an action. So beep beep, pop in my sockets, jeep, and run them over. And like again here, like. The banner wasn't particularly impressive, so I'm not sure. This deck definitely has legs still, but I'm not sure if the banner champion is like where I want to be in life. It might be better that I want to play the blaze elemental champion, just as like a burst points of six damage. I think there's a very real possibility that's something you want to do. I don't know what that means. English tiny child, do you speak it? 
you speak English? The the berry gems, yeah, were on the randomly randomly generated venin. 